Last time I showed you how to create this 3D caricature bunny here in Illustrator and today we're gonna push it to the next level and import into Adobe Firefly and generate some crazier looking monsters. Also if you want to check out how I made this 3D bunny here in Illustrator I'm gonna leave a link in the description with the full tutorial. First you're gonna need to do is export this as a JPEG and now we can go to Adobe Firefly, let's go to the aspect ratio, change it to square, content type photo and here we got the reference image, upload image and I gotta go and select the bunny Click on open, continue, let's go to the strength, increase all the way to 100% and we're going to go to the prompt and type in pink bunny monster with pink fur, sharp yellow teeth, isolated on white background. I'm also going to scroll down, let's go to the effects, select hyper realistic, I got to go to the teams, select 3D, scroll down all the way, go to lighting and I got to select the studio light and click on try prompt. And check this out, this is the first appearance, it basically copy pasted the same exact bunny proportions from the 3D shapes that I created. And now the prompts are quite generic because it didn't manage to copy paste the same exact color nuances as well. And as you can see this one also has some little feet which I didn't include. So anyways let's click on generate again and now it managed to make the teeth yellow but it is still in a generic direction so we're gonna need to narrow it down to make the AI generate the same exact bunny. So we're gonna go to the prompts again, pink angry bunny and right now as you can see the fur is light pink and we want something more magenta dark. So I'm gonna go with a uh, dark magenta pink. Let's click on generate. Wow, so check this out. Now this became really magenta looking and dark. So probably we're gonna need to make this a little bit more lighter. So I'm gonna remove the dark, remain with the magenta. And I think this is a way better color. It's a little bit more darker rather than that light pink. Now this came out a little bit more disgusting, but we are getting there for sure. I also wanna change up the eyes because in the original pick, of course, is something different, but it's a great idea to incorporate yellow eyes. So I'm gonna type in, yellow eyes. I'm gonna go with a yellow neon eyes. Generate. So this is exactly what I wanted. Now also the teeth is not yellow. It also included some nose in there. I also gonna go yellow glowing neon eyes. And I'm gonna go to the magenta. I'm gonna remove the pink. So the thing with the teeth is still white. I'm gonna remove the sharp maybe. Maybe that way the AI is going to recognize even better and you know try to replace with yellow teeth. I'm gonna go with dirty just to test it out and I'm also gonna add another prompt which is gonna be yellow ears. Click on generate and it seems like it worked and it made the ears yellow, eyes are glowing, in this example the teeth are yellow. So it is mixing it up but it doesn't want to give me exactly the results I want. So I'm gonna go and keep on generating more. Again these are not exactly what I wanted so I also got another idea instead of dirty yellow teeth I'm gonna go with uh, gold and remove the yellow maybe. Let's see what we got. No, I'm gonna go with golden teeth. So this one kind of got it right, but the ears are not yellow. So I'm gonna go with gold yellow teeth. Let's force it. These are pretty good results already, but I'm gonna keep on generating to find the perfect match. So after a couple of attempts, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Now, of course, this is not perfect, but it's the closest. So what I'm gonna do is go here to the edit and let's select use as style reference. So here, if you scroll down, you can see the bunny at the style reference and you can customize here the strength and the visual intensity. Right now, I'm gonna decrease the strength, leave the visual intensity at somewhere here, click on generate. So these are gonna be the results on low settings. I'm gonna generate another one. So it is not that bad, the quality is different. As you can see, the AI is playing around. So in the next step, what I'm gonna do is increase the visual intensity all the way to 100 and click on generate. Now in these results the bunny is way more stylized than before. The teeth is more detailed, fur and the eyes is more detailed, so it's pretty good. I'm gonna go and generate another one. Not bad. Now I'm gonna go to the strength, increase it to 50%. This should be the best settings by the way. And let's click on generate. And there you go. These are pretty much the results. And I think this last one is actually perfect. And basically this is how you do prompt crafting and work with the settings here in Adobe Firefly. Thanks for watching.